Hello, hello, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions as to what it is that I do, how do I do it, services that I provide, and all of that fun stuff, down below in the description. Um, we are back with Leo. Leo, 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 your song is To Die For by Sam Smith. Hmm. You don't leave my mind. Lonely days, I'm feeling like a fool for dreaming. Hmm. Someone um, is stuck on someone from their past. Now let's go ahead and focus our energy on the water and candle, loved ones. Alrighty, Leo, what is going on? Who are we holding on to? Whoa, 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 whoa. There was, um... <laughs> Seems like a lot of, um, if it's not that, um, Leo or people, you know, whoever the Leo's person is dealing with, they have been in a lot of, um, recent, like, oh, excuse me, partying or gathering or something like that, then there's a lot of, um, heavy, heavy, heavy reminiscing on the past. A lot of heavy, heavy memories from the past. A lot of heavy, um just things a lot of things just from the past um occupying their mind i just feel that um there is um a sense or an energy of um wanting to change um patterns wanting to change certain routines wanting to move forward wanting to to start something new to start something fresh but again there's either the distractions are either coming from things like, you know, thoughts and memory from the past or the distractions are coming in forms of things that are currently happening, happening such as partying or gathering or just constantly going out or whatever. But whatever it is, regardless of where the distractions are coming from, the Leos are not able to dive into their feelings, dive into whatever it is that they have to heal, whatever it is that they have to release. So in an essence, they're still feeling stuck. And it's like, if you could just give yourself that little bit of time to um, heal or to move forward. <sighs> with clarity with the clarity that you need then you wouldn't be you wouldn't have to make these mistakes again but i feel that you're either choosing yourself not to um not to see like a past relationship or past situation for what it truly was or you are choosing to stay stuck on what you could have and should have done differently so at the end of the day, it's really up to you whether or not you want to stay stuck in these energies or whether or not you want to move forward, whether or not you want to heal, whether or not you want to be freed from your past once and for all. Because I feel that a lot do say that they want freedom from their past and they want to let go of the past, but then they're still hoping and praying that somebody from their past will come back. That somebody from their past will return, will make it all better. So it is the time for you to really take um, take time to listen to your heart and listen to yourself. And be completely honest with you. If you're really not 100% um, over a person, it is okay to admit that to yourself. And it is okay to... Um, go ahead and deal with or go through the process of healing when it comes to healing a broken heart. What you cannot do is suppress your pain or suppress your love for another because in an essence, if you do that and then you go into another relationship, all you're doing is bringing all of that past hurt, all of that past burden into the new, into the new relationship, which is not what you want because obviously it's what has gotten you to continually repeat the patterns that you have so repeated so many times before.
whatever it is that you are so hard, like you're trying so, so, so hard to suppress and not let the world see or not let the other person see. There's something inside, there's something that you're trying to suppress so hard because you're either ashamed of it or because you feel that you're not worthy of it or whatever it is, but you have You have to let that go. You have to let go of the you you want to be you want to think for other people. You want to assume for other people and you need to stop that. You need to come to the point where you are only thinking for yourself because in the, at the end of the day that is the only person that you can think for. You can't think for another human being. You cannot assume for another human. <sighs> The minute you stopped putting expectations um, on people, the minute that you stopped thinking for other people, because <laughs> you honestly, you, you're, it's like you you stirred up a problem in your head before there is actually is an issue. So even before you meet a person or even before you get together with a group of friends or whatever it is, there is already an issue because you had already created the issue in your head. So now when you speak, when you move, when you talk, when you act, when you respond, whatever it is, you are already coming from that place, from those issues that you have created all by your lonesome self in your head. hope that makes sense. So allow everybody to be themselves. Allow everybody to express themselves in the way that they want to express themselves. And then you are free to do the same. If we stop judging or pre, or with these presumptions of what other people are going to say or what other people are going to think, the world would be a much simpler place. It would be so much easier for all of us to get along. It would be so much easier for all of us to actually um, love each other unconditionally, but when we constantly feel that we have the power to think for someone else, that, that we assume that we know what other people are thinking or saying, that is what brings us into these energies of wanting to like give up, not wanting to move forward, not wanting to to try something new, not want just kind of like just you're just kind of here like. You know, to die for. Like, you want somebody to become your all. You want somebody to give you a reason for living. You want somebody to become your reason, your muse. But it's like, why can you yourself become your reason? Why can you yourself become your own muse? Why do you have to go outside of yourself to try and find somebody else to be that for you? And my beautiful Leos, come back over here to Miss Perla. And I will, oh, let's see, can we get this back up? I know the computer is so much better for this. Anyways, I wanted to say thank you guys for all the love and support. And I will see you guys real soon. Love you. Bye-bye.